What up, YouTube? You can't stop trading and investing with your boy, James E. Um, today, I want to talk about TSMP. I want to go over a couple catalysts that I think could potentially uh, propel this thing um, this week coming up. Uh, but before I do that, man, please click that like button. Please subscribe. It is very much appreciated. I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy that likes to research and analyze anything that I find interesting in the stock market. And I like to share that with anybody who's willing to listen. So... That being said, let's just get right into it, shall we? Um, so we had a recent news article come out last week. Um, as you can see right here, ownsnap.com is Tesoro Enterprise ready to hit new highs. Um, you know, the thing started gearing up. We obviously broke some uh, consolidation, uh, broke past that resistance level in the 17.5 and started retesting that 23.24 last week. Um, but it hit the 22s and kind of took a little dip. Um, so, you know, I talked about it in the last video. If you haven't watched it, please go and do so. Um, you know, I was talking about Monday. Today is Monday, um, but it is a holiday. So Tuesday, when the market opens, are we going to take another dip or are we going to hold in that 20 range and potentially continue uh, to move in the right direction? So as you can see right here, um, it's catalysts like this that can potentially propel it. Um, because we haven't really had no new news come out recently. So let's just get into it. There's very few stocks that have managed to generate the sort of gains that Tesoro Enterprise uh, TSMP stock has been able to generate since the early days of November 2020. Um, since that time, the stock rallied around 1,800%, and much of that is due to the merger with Humble. However, the rally has continued steadily on and steadily and on Tuesday the test road gained as much as 11% as investors continue to pile on one of the major reasons behind the optimism about the test road stock could be the different initiatives um, that have been started by humble back in December last year humble a holiday deals uh, days for merchants uh, back in December last year humble a holiday deal days for merchants as per the promotion, people who sign up for Humble Pay were given the option of shopping from among specially curated holiday deals in the Humble Marketplace. It was a promotion that created a significant buzz among investors and provided to be a factor behind the rally of Tesoro. Um, you know, again, man, I've been covering this stock for a while um, and I've talked about all these highlight points. But it's nice now that we're starting to get um, more and more recognition about Humble and TSMP. Um, that are also highlighting these points um, that I have done in previous videos. Um, so, you know, that was just a quick, uh, just a quick article that came out, um, which is, again, another catalyst that could propel um, this thing to go uh, and move in our direction. I mean, it did come out last week on Wednesday, and we did have a nice move since then. Um, but another thing also is the fact that we are seeing a lot more coverage on YouTube about TSMP. Um, because as an investor and a trader, anything that I'm involved in, I always try to uh, research as much as possible and seeing how uh, on the actual internet, there's nothing really new for TSMP, but you're starting to see all these YouTubers, um, you know, who are also covering TSMP. So it's awesome because I watch all these guys as well, um, just to get their perspectives and where their mindset is and what they believe could happen with TSMP. Because you have to realize that each, every single one of these guys have their own followers as well. And that's going to provide another catalyst. Um, the more and more you see, as you can see, all these are recent. Um, you know, 17 hours ago, three days ago, 13 hours ago, three days ago. So all these are from Friday up until today. Um, so, you know, that again is going to propel uh, a nice catalyst because we're seeing a lot more eyes on it. When I first started researching TSMP, I couldn't really find nothing much on the internet about it. Maybe one or two YouTubers were talking about it, um, or it'd be like uh, they talked about it months back. Um, you know, so you know, it, it's just nice to now see current. We're seeing a lot more current because it's actually moving. So you know, it's providing the catalyst in the chart pattern uh, for these guys to talk about. And so I've watched all of them, and there's nothing really new. Um, you know that they're talking about it's everything that we've already covered uh in all the videos that we that i have done previously but it's just the fact that that word is now getting out um just like you see in this article here it's pretty much a topic that have already been covered in my videos uh previously but it's the fact that it's surfacing now recently um january 13th and then also we're starting to get it surfaced with the rest of these YouTubers who are now, um, you know, talking more about TSMP recently because that is what propels or I'm sorry, that's what provides the catalyst 
um, to make it move is when more and more people start talking about it now. We're talking about right now, that's what's gonna get more and more eyes driven to this stock and have that potential move. Um, so that that is a great catalyst um, that could propel this thing. And then we kind of went over the chart pattern in the last video. We had this dip, um, you know, and, it, and right now from what I'm seeing, it can go either way. Um, you know, it can either it could either maintain in these 20s and start moving in the right direction or it could have another dip day. And, and because there's so many more eyes on it that, you know, it could shake out the rest of these traders and have another drop. Um, you know, that's the speculation right now. Either way, I'm prepared for either move. It, it doesn't for me personally. Um, like I talked about, I had already exited both my positions in both my accounts because I wanted to capitalize because of the uncertainty of this move right here. When I didn't get that gap up, I sold it. So I made 40% profit and a 32% profit uh, in, in two separate accounts. Um, so at this point, it doesn't matter to me whether it's gonna dip some more or if it's gonna break out. Either way, I plan on capitalizing either or. If it dips some more, great. That means I could buy a lot more shares than, uh, than I previously had because I sold up here. So now instead of having my original 6,500 position, if it drops back to the 17s, you know, I could get more like, um, you know, 9,000 shares instead of the 65 back. And then in this one, I had 11.5. And if it drops some more, I could potentially grab another 5,000 shares on top of that, possibly more. I haven't done the full calculation. But regardless, um, that's going to be a great move. And I do plan on dip buying it if it drops. And again, if it does not drop, then I plan on buying the breakout of the 24 um, and, and capitalize on that move from the 24 to the 36. And then if it breaks the 36, again, I will just capitalize on that move with the break of the 36. So, you know, um, just depending on what happens tomorrow, uh, it's going to depend on, you know, what what's my next move. But again, two great catalysts um, as far as news coming out. We have a lot more YouTubers talking about it, which is amazing. I appreciate all you guys doing the research as well um, because I do keep up with you guys and watch your videos too. Um, again, um, you know, just same thing like this article, um, recent article from last week, but it's just covering the same topics that, you know, I've already covered, but it's just nice to see the perspective. The perspective of this article is bullish. The perspective of most of these YouTubers are bullish. So, you know, just to have the same perspective, um, you know, as me um, tells me that this thing is going to definitely potentially move in the right direction. It's just a matter of time. So whether or not we do have a dip tomorrow or it does wind up breaking, it's going to eventually get there. I truly believe it's going to eventually break anyway. So um, regardless whether it doesn't, whether it dips more or whether it continues to move in the direction and breaks that 24, I plan on capitalizing either way. Um, so again, guys, just a quick update on TSMP, a bullish news article with bullish sentiment. We got plenty more YouTubers talking about Humble and TSMP recently, which is also amazing. I'm um, just covering the same topics, but it's the fact that uh, the perspective of all these guys is also bullish on this stock is amazing. Um, and then uh, we'll see what happens on Tuesday. So leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Again, if you watch this far, please click that like button. Please subscribe. You can't stop. Mafia is a mindset movement, meaning never stop yourself, never stop your progress, never stop your education, especially in finance. Having multiple streams of income is an amazing thing. And the stock market is a place where you can do that. So that's going to be it for today, guys. TSMP, we'll see what happens on Tuesday. Are we going to take that dip? Are we going to keep going um, in the right direction to the long? We will see. Either way, I plan on capitalizing on it. So until um, next time, man, I'll keep you guys updated as much as possible. I'm out. Peace.